Hey everybody, Max Kevin here, it's Little Cutie Podcast. It's not too long. How you guys doing? You having a good day today? Huh? You, is everything chipper? Did you, with the birds? Did you wake up and like, hi birds? Hi birds, how you doing? How you're tweeting? How's your tweet? Are you on the tweeter? Are you on Twitter? Oh man, so I was just, uh, you know, I'm just uh, hanging out. Hanging out at mommy's house, you know, in the afternoon. Woke up uh, pretty early today, you know. Was productive. I was productive for a little bit, you know, but then the uh, afternoon comes along, and then I'm just like, oh, fuck. Don't want to do any more work. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, God. You know? uh, I got my uh, got my third cup of koofies right here. I'm going to take a little sip. Ah, uh, that's goof. That's goofers. Oh, man. I've been getting these, like, uh... I've been, I've been getting these, like, seriously intense, intense moments of depression and sadness. I know no one really wants to hear this, but, uh, oh, man, it's tough, man. It's like I'm gonna, it's like a, it's like an orgasm almost, you know, but it's like a sadness orgasm. You know, you guys ever, you ever, you're having sex and you're just like, oh, oh, yeah, I'm gonna come. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. I feel fucking depressed and sad. Yeah, that's kind of what it feels like. And, uh, you know, of course it goes away after a few minutes, but it's just like, it's like, whoa, dude, I just, I just go like real dark places, you know, even if it's only like five seconds. It's just like, oh, oh man, that, uh, wish that, I wish that, I wish that would stop happening, huh? <laughs> That'd be nice. Kind of wish, I don't know, I don't, I wish that wouldn't happen, you know. Um, I like to blame it on my current situation, you know, I'd like to think that it's because I'm living with mommy and stuff that this happens, but I don't know. The more I think about my life, the more it's just, I kind of realize maybe I'm just that fucking type of person, you know? It's like, I, st I think I got, I got those same feelings in Japan. And that's what kind of motivated me to move back to America, you know? But, uh, you know, I kind of already talked about that before, but, uh, oh man, I don't know what to do here. I don't know what to do here, you know? I just kind of feel like, you know, no matter what I do with my life, if I ever, you know, if I ever become a successful comedian or if I get a good job or whatever, are these, is this still going to, am I still going to get these fucking depression orgasms? God damn. Oh man. I, I hope, I hope not, you know. And that's, you know, that's the, that's the worst, that's the worst, you know, is when, it's when you think about that, it's like, well. No matter how no matter how much better my life gets, if I, I still get these depression orgasms. You know, is it is it worth it? You know, I guess, I guess this is what suicidal people think about. You know, I'm not suicidal at all, but uh, I guess that's that's kind of what's going through their mind. You know, they realize no matter nothing ever turns it off, nothing will make it stop. Uh, of course I've taken medication before. Um, didn't really do anything. I don't know. Might have been placebo, you know? I think I was I was a college kid, you know? And I went in there, I went in this the the university therapist or whatever, and I'm like, I'm fucking depressed, fill me up, you know? So they gave me some uh they just gave me whatever, you know. They gave me this one that made me sleep a lot. I was sleeping like fourteen hours a day. Uh which was good at that time because I was, you know, I've always had trouble sleeping, but uh I lowered my dose on that one because I was kind of sleeping too long. I don't know. I wonder. I kind of, I kind of want to. Kind of feel like going back and maybe you know maybe there's some medication that would work, but I don't know. Another part of me is just just tells myself to fucking be you know. Fucking be a man, bro. Quit whining, you pussy little bitch. You know. Got that voice going in. I know, I kind of feel, I realized recently that I'm just kind of lonely every day, you know? And, uh, I mean, like, I mean, like, I literally see, like, maybe two people a day. One of them's my mom, you know? And the other one's, like, some fat kid. One of my fat friends, you know? But, like, when I was living in Japan, I'd literally see, like, a thousand people every day, you know? Just going to work and going to the supermarket, walking around town. There's just people everywhere, you know? But here, it's just like, I see Misty the Golden Retriever, my mom. But, uh, 
like it's 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 that kind of loneliness like like not a not a you know and actually in japanese there's two different kanji for the different types of loneliness one is like actually just being alone and the other one's like a sad feeling so i'm not talking about the sad feeling i'm just talking about the feeling of being alone that's lonely you know i'm very alone here i mean even right now as i'm recording this podcast i'm alone in this house even though two other guys live here, I never see them, which is good, because I don't really want to see them, but... I don't know, it's just weird. It's just weird going... Uh, I'm wondering if maybe that's it, is that I just don't have any interaction with people, you know? And it doesn't really motivate me to go out, though, actually. You know? I didn't even go to the Carmen Bar last night, I just, I don't know. I didn't feel like it. I'm, that's three weeks I haven't gone, you know? Yeah, I'm a comedian. I haven't performed in a month, but, uh, you know, I still label myself a comedian. No big deal. You know, it's like uh, it's like those people that label themselves freedom fighters, and all they do is, you know, comment on the internet. Instead of actually, like, cleaning shit up. You know, they just write comments on the internet, instead of actually making changes themselves, you know? <laughs> kind of like that. Oh. So what else is going on? I don't know, I guess that's it, you know? Uh, I don't know, what do you, what do you, uh, how do you guys feel, you know? I think a lot of people, maybe, a lot of people just, that are busy, they don't have these, they don't have time for these depression orgasms, you know? They don't have time to think about stuff because they're too busy. And I think maybe that's, that has a lot to do with it with me, is I have too much free time, you know? I noticed that too, like, during my summer vacation and stuff. Like, I didn't have shit to do, and I just kind of get, kind of get bored, and just like, oh god, oh god. Uh, I mean, even though I have stuff I could be doing, it's just, I don't know. I don't know, man. Maybe I'll delete this whole podcast. No one wants to hear this shit. Anyway, thanks for listening. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow.